being more productive with your time. I say this in the sense that um, a lot of people complain that they don't make enough money. But a lot of it is down to A, how they manage their money, but B, how they spend their time. Um, somebody just posted about the TV when they uh, they watched it, watched the presidential election, then they got rid of the TV afterwards. And they realized how much time they wasted on it. That's a prime example. Um, I know some people get frustrated with finances, whatever. So what they do is that they'll sort of bury their head in the sands, keeping themselves busy with TV episodes and things like that, which isn't very productive. Um, Many moons ago, one of the things I was doing when I was, um, what was I trying to pay for? There was something I was trying to pay for, I can't remember what it was at the time. But I used to work a full working day and then do four hours a night at a warehouse, um, a distribution warehouse for one of the big um, mail places, I think it was DHL. Used to bring all the trucks in and then sort the trucks out and send the trucks back on their way. Um, wasn't great work, but that extra money every night paved the way for whatever it was I was buying. I can't remember what it was. Um, because I don't like loans. I really don't like loans. I don't like debt. I don't like owing anybody anything. It's um, just the way I am. But I prefer to actually work extra and get it done, paid for, gone, as quick as possible. Um, but one of the other things on that is when you're in the Philippines or like here in Spain, because your cost of living is reduced and even on a wet day like this, it's still warm, you know, it's not cold. So your general well-being feels better. Um, and you're more productive, you find you're more productive. Well, I do anyway. I do. Because I find that what you get in... I mean, we've got the bureaucracy here, which is the one thorn in my side with the paperwork. But beyond that is because a lot of the work... For example, if I do English teaching, English teaching is only a 20-hour a week um, venture. So... We could afford to work part time. I mean, that's part time in the UK. Um, you could earn enough on that to be pretty much sustainable. Now, if you take that into account, in the UK, it's very difficult to be in that same scenario because the cost of living is much higher. But I'll also say that because you have the time here in Spain, it also becomes much easier to find other ways to make money. It's like now, I am, although I'm sat here and we've been to the tax office and stuff this morning, when we get home, which will probably be about lunchtime, 12 o'clock, um, I'm going to be working 12 till 5 on some website development. And that's a more productive thing. You know, that, that makes money. And sitting here making this video, these go on YouTube, that makes money. So... When you have the time, you can find ways to make more money. And that, that's one of the things I do think a lot of people don't do. They sort of think, well, I, I want to do this, I want to do that. And then, oh, is that a new episode of such <laughs> Get sidetracked. Um, but if you're really serious about retiring early, paying all your debt off going to the Philippines, traveling the world, whatever it is, you need to look at, A, how much you're spending, can you reduce it, but B, can you pay it off early by doing something in the evenings or whatever? Are you doing the best with the time you have during the day? Um, because, you know, I've had, I've had people say to me before, well, oh, YouTube's a waste of time, it's like X, Y, Z. And I mean, I was talking to uh, Jay from Real Deal about it, and like he said, he says, yeah, but in the next 10 years, that money is still being made. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. Once you've made it, it's there. And that's exactly it. You know, once it's on YouTube, it's going to continue to be there. And if it's, and every now and again, you'll get a flurry of activity because you'll have a video that suddenly goes boop, and it, it's sort of like, uh, well, pops. It jumps up the rankings, and it can pull the other ones up the rankings as well. Um, but it all comes down to one thing, 
using your time wisely. Um, and it's not only, like I said, with the YouTube stuff. Does YouTube on pretty much everything these days? Now, if people weren't making money on it, a lot of these videos wouldn't even exist. So the reality is, there's money in it. There's money in websites. There's money in all sorts. You know, there's there's a lot of stuff that people don't um, see the value in. Um, there's a lot of stuff where the minimum wage has destroyed industries um, because it gets outsourced to China or whatever, and the quality goes down the pan. But then the quality stuff. Um, doesn't get produced anymore because the the main core of it has gone overseas. But as I know with some of the people I know that do porcelain, um, they work from garages and things, little small units. But they do the top of the range, top notch stuff, hand painted, hand crafted, etc., etc. And the joke being is they used to work at places like Worcester Porcelain and whatever. Because they have got skills that they could use in their spare time. And now it's their main source of income. And that's the reality. These things can take a mind of their own. Once they get going. Um, I mean like the YouTube stuff. I originally started on a blog. 2007. End of 2007. Start of 2000. I think it was February 2008. I started blogging about the Philippines. And then this is an extension of that. It's just continued. And that's brought me money in every every step of the way since 2000, well, 2008, I think it was bringing in less than a dollar for the first couple of months, first three months at least. Um, but the whole point is, it brings in some money. Um, brings in a lot more than that now, but it's not, it's not massive money. But if you're wanting to pay your credit card bills, wanting to get rid of your debt, oh yeah, it could cover your cost. It could take that bill off you and be paying it for you every month that's the reality of it and that's why I do say you know for people to do things like YouTube because it doesn't cost a lot to get started a lot of people already have the skills because it's not about just going all oh, vlogging about the Philippines or whatever it's about vlogging what you know it's about vlogging about stuff that you have in-depth knowledge of um, there's a guy that used to drink in the same bar as me, um, Scott, uh, from Worcester. He does um, butchery. He, he butchers meat. Um, he's a butcher. <laughs> but he, he's already getting in the newspapers and stuff in the UK, and he's doing well on it. I mean, he's even built a little um, workplace for making the YouTube videos because he's... he's he's doing really well on it he's successful um and that's that's discussing butchery um so the whole point here is you already have some skills you already got something you can sell there is something you can teach people there is something you can develop there is something you have that other people need to know the big problem people normally have is they assume nobody will be interested just start doing it and honestly just start doing it because if there's no interest there will be no interest if there's some interest you'll start to see people watching the videos subscribing and your channel slowly developing unless you've hit on something amazing straight away and it will just go pop and it's an overnight success but for the majority of people is a progressive path it's not something that just happens overnight but like I'm saying for using your spare time for something positive it's an easy one to do you know I'm sat here in the van waiting for April to fill her shopping trolley over in the supermarket and then I'll pop over and pull the trolley over for her um, but it's how you use your time use it wisely there's lots of ways in it. That's why people get into finance and uh, investments and stuff. Because it makes money when you're not there. Anything makes money when you're not there is the right way to be. Because it will roll itself. It will continue to make money with you not constantly engaging with it. YouTube, you do constantly engage, but not in the same sense. You know, if I didn't make a video for three weeks, 
So what? I'm still going to be get videos watched. I'm still going to get an income off it. Same with writing blogs, vlogs, ebooks, um, even printing t-shirts or something else. There is always going to be something that will bring in money on a regular basis. And that's, that's the thing. You don't have to get rich off a lot of this stuff. A lot of it is a case of getting this one to make a bit of money, then something else, and then something else. And they start to work collectively. Um, it's like now... I'm looking at getting the new, um, what's it, the DJI, DJI drone, um, the version 4. Now, that's going to cost me $1,500. Now, I don't want to take that out of my cash flow. I want to find another $1,500 somewhere to subsidize that, to pay for it. And one of the things that gets me motivated to make more money is a goal at the end of it, which is obviously that. But once it's paid for that same money generation system should continue whatever it is I decide to do just some ideas I wanted to put out there just the way I think and I know it works and this is why I'm I want to share that anybody can do this sort of stuff I was talking to Dave in Australia a while back because he you know he's got a, a good setup with his business um, the reality is you can progress your business by by putting that extra effort in and move, pushing things an extra mile, um, it's up to you. The only person that ever holds you back in anything in your life, besides bureaucratic paperwork, is yourself. That's the reality. Push yourself. Go the extra mile. Retire 10 years early. Whatever. Just make it happen. Thanks for watching.